Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe. It's Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead reading. Just to let you know how the reading's gonna go, we uh, we do your weekly check-in first. Then we have a look at uh, more specifically your work, stroke finance, and we also have a look at your love life during the week. I'd like to say guys, thanks ever so much for joining me this week for your reading. And yeah, sit back, relax. And enjoy. Hi there, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart guys. This is your week ahead reading. We're looking at the 15th to the 21st of June 2020. For the reading this week guys, we are using uh, the Dark Mansion Tarot. I haven't used this in a minute. For a long, long time this hasn't been used. I love this deck so much. And it's actually the deck that I use to take all my thumbnails for the, for, for, for the videos a lot of the time. So I've got two of these, one of the regular, this is the regular, and I've also got the large version. Really, really in love with this deck. So I thought, yeah, let's get this one out. Um, so yeah, we're going to use the Dark Mansion Tarot. Uh, and we're going to use the Dark Mansion Tarot. I think we're going to use that for the uh, career reading. We'll use this for the career reading. We're going to use the Art the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck. Uh, usually I would use this as my private study deck actually, but I, I was using it yesterday evening and I really love just the imagery, so I thought I'd just use it for the YouTube um, YouTube reading. So we're going to use this one for your general reading. So we're looking at general with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot and we're looking at your career reading with the Dark Mansion Tarot. And for your love reading, we're going to use my just probably my favourite deck of all, besides this one, close, close, close to the Dark Mansion Tarot, the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, I'm using my trimmed deck as well, the deck that I trimmed and edged myself, so I'm going to use this one for the love reading, and finally for your spiritual advice, we are using the Crazy Sexy Love Notes, which I just started using I think last week, I really love it by Chris Carr, finally, I forgot to mention, if we want to clarify anything, I'm using my miniature Bohemian Tarot, uh, you get this from, um, oh god I can't even remember the site that I get this from, but it's such a good deck, it's a it's an indie deck, really beautiful, so we're going to use that as a miniature, alright? Okay guys, sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, hi Libra, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tower Readings from the Heart, we're going to have a look at your week ahead reading, we're looking at your general, your career and your love reading for the week, 15th to the 21st of June, let's make a start. Okay, Libra, let's have a look at the reading. So your general advice this week is the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is all about taking charge. You're at the start of a really important phase, I think, with the Two of Wands. Uh, this card can also represent the start of a new enterprise, a new business, for example, with the Two of Wands energy. It can also mean the safe place as well. So standing, beyond, you know, standing not, beyond, not going beyond your borders sometimes because he's standing aloft a rooftop but he's kind of got the, he's just sort of looking outwards. So sometimes this is a card about sticking in the safe place. It depends where it's aspected or what's aspecting it. We've got a King of Swords. You know, I just feel here Libra, and we could probably read that as you, even though it's an Aquarius card. I think that it's making a statement to you. And I think that what it's saying here is that it's time to make a stand with this Two of Wands. It's time to take charge and put yourself with this King in pole position. Because the King of Swords is somebody who is in authority. Um, this person has power. Um, they're in a great place. Okay, so they're in a, a place of power and authority and strength. So it feels to me like it's saying that it's time to, with both cards, really assert yourself. Especially in terms of maybe your knowledge. Because uh, Kings are knowledgeable and the King of Swords deals with communication, idea and thought. So I think it's time now to start asserting your ideas and your thoughts. And I think that they're ready to be asserted because the King of Swords is, you know, it's a king. So his thoughts and his ideas are completely mature. Let's have a look at the next one. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely say that it's time to start ascending, you know, asserting your thoughts, your ideas and start kind of putting them out there with the Eight of Wands showing here. Um... I do think that some of you guys are a little bit worried with that Nine of Swords energy. There's a little bit of fear here with the Nine of Swords energy showing here. The Hermit showing here as well. 
So the Hermit is, um, I, I get the impression that some of you guys this week, because if you look at the Hermit, it's really weird, but the Hermit is discovering this. Can you see how he's looking in? He's discovering. Often when I see a Hermit pointing towards a card, he's discovering it. Um, so it may be that it's saying, a couple of things I'm thinking on the reading is that, uh, Two things. I'm thinking that some of you guys may be ready now, because two of swords means all sorts of wands, sorry, also means I'm ready. You might be ready with that two of wands energy to start kind of sending out or, you know, asserting and spreading with the eight of wands, spreading your ideas, your messages with that king of swords energy. But some of you guys may be discovering that there is a little bit of a, a problem here with that nine of swords, for example, showing in here. You may be discovering that's a bit of a problem because the Hermit looks into the Nine of Swords. So Hermits really discover things. If you went to a hospital and you went to a reader and said, you know, what are they going to do to me at the hospital? And you get a Hermit, they're probably going to do an x-ray on you. So the Hermit is looking into things. He's finding things out. That's what the Hermit does. So you might find that there is a little bit of a, you know, there's a little bit of a problem here in terms of what you're doing here as well. Um... It may be that it's time for you to assert your messages, your ideas. They're ready to go out there. They're ready to be spread. But it may be with the Nine of Swords and the Hermit that some of you guys, maybe there's a little bit of fear here. Maybe it being a bit of an outcast for it. Because the Hermit is can also, for me, be an outcast. It's not just that he withdraws from people. He also is outcasted sometimes from the group. So there may be some worries here that they are going to be an outcast. Let's have a look at what the advice is. We're going to use the Bohemian Tarot for some clarifiers. And I'm just going to kind of ask what the universe advises you to do in this situation. What do you advise Libra to do in this situation? And also what I'm seeing here, you get an Eight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Wands also means to release. So it could be here, ready yourself now, Two of Wands, time to take charge time to put those ideas out there because this is the start of a new enterprise okay so it's time to take charge and start putting those ideas out there which the king of swords does often i've seen uh, i've seen it said about kings that they're actually some people say that they're rooted in fire some people say that they're rooted in earth the king of swords takes an idea and if it's rooted in earth it's taking the idea because it's ruled by air and it's bringing it to fruition because the earth element forms things into reality so it's literally taking an idea and it's taking action because kings take action and they're putting it out into the world. So it's time to take charge and start putting your ideas out there. Uh, there's a need to release worries as well. Maybe this is a good way to release worries as well with the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Swords energy showing here. Um, it's an interesting one because you've got this hermit on the side here. Maybe some of you guys have been focusing on your... Or maybe there's a worry about... It depends, because sometimes you can get the Nine of Swords and the Hermit and there's a little bit of a worry about getting old, for example. Or there's a little bit of worry about being on one's own, for example, with the Hermit energy showing here. But I'm choosing to think that maybe the focus with the Hermit has been on that Nine of Swords. Maybe some of you guys have been focusing on the negative elements or you've been focusing on something that's really been worrying you. And it may be now is the time with the Two of Wands to assert yourself with the Chariot to take charge of whatever that Nine of Swords is, to start talking, communicating, opening up as a way to release this. And so I think we're going to read it. I don't think we need the clarifiers, actually. I think we're going to read it in that way. It would make sense more to me to read it in that way, Libra. What I think the universe is actually saying to you here is this. Some of you guys have been really focusing in on worries. And actually, I will clarify. I'm going to ask what those worries have been about. What's these worries been about with the Nine of Swords? What has these worries been about with the Nine of Swords for Libra in two cards? Let's have a look. So, uh, it's been about uh, Five of Pentacles. So, money. Lack of money. Five of Coins is a lack of money. It's destitution. It's having no help sometimes. It's uh, being rejected. Five of Coins is showing here. And the Six of Coins, which is interesting afterwards. So, the worries have been about trying to a lack of money and trying to get some financial aid or support. So the worry has been about lack of money and trying to get some financial support. And I think with the Hermit energy, some of you, I think the Hermit shows up because you've been, I think that you've been, because the, the Hermit looks into things and he looks into things in a very deep way. Now we notice it's interesting, there's a couple of nines, aren't there? There's the Nine of Wands and there's the Hermit, he rules the Nines. 
okay so he's in charge of the nine so and the hermit is all about deep insight so really looking deeply into a situation and i think actually some of you guys have been really focusing quite deeply into this worrying matter where there's a money situation for some of you guys and you're worrying and you're saying how am i going to get some financial aid but the universe is kind of saying, well, with the Two of Wands energy showing here, and it could also be with the Two of Wands energy that you need to reach out to a King of Swords. So this would be somebody who works in this way. They work, they might work for government or they, you know, there's somebody who can give you some really good expert advice. And that's actually what I think it is saying when we bring it all together, that if you've been really focusing intently on something that's been worrying you with that hermit looking into the Nine of Swords, and that thing that's really been worrying you, Libra, is money, five of coins energy here, and how you get financial support with the six of coins energy showing there. Then in order to release these worries, you need to, with the two of wands energy, start reaching out. So we're just going to use the word reaching out. You need to kind of come out of your this zone, because the two of wands likes to stay in the safe place. You need to come out of this zone and you need to kind of reach out to somebody who is skilled, somebody who's expert and somebody who can give you some really good advice on how you can overcome whatever that five of coins is. Okay, so I think it's time to reach out. It's time to actually ask for help. If you need help, uh, Libra, it's time to ask for it, which some of you guys haven't done. Some of you guys maybe think may think that you don't, you're not privy to it, you know, to help. Maybe you're self-employed and you think, oh, I don't know whether I can get financial help or maybe I have a job or a part-time job or whatever and I, you know, I'm really finding it difficult. I've got kids, I can't pay the bills and I don't know whether I can get any help. Well, it's saying reach out, reach out and get the advice that you need. Get the advice because I don't think some of you guys are getting the advice that you need because um, there, there may be somebody who can help. Let's have a look at uh, career. Uh, so lots of work is the Ten of Wands. Often when you get a Ten of Wands, there's a hell of a lot of work to do. It's like you've got a lot of responsibility and like you're absolutely kind of... Um, uh, you can see on the back this guy carries Ten Wands. Wands are career related, so he's got a lot of work to do. He's carrying a lot of work. And I think, again, you've got another Nine of Swords. I do think for some of you guys, again, I'm getting a lot of worries with Libra this week, which is interesting. I do think, again, there is a lot of worry here with the Nine of Swords. How am I going to cope with this? How am I going to get all the work done? How am I going to get the deadline done with the Ten of Wands? Ten of Wands is all about hitting those deadlines. Um, the Moon energy showing here. And there's a lot of anxiety around that. All right, And some of you guys find it difficult to open up about that as well with the Moon energy showing here. A lot of kind of, a, you know, deep fears going on. That's what the moon can be. The moon can be just like a really deep fear and worry. Shit, how am I going to get this worked? And I'm really worried about it. Um, the two of coins, energy. All right. I think that there's a lot of deep fears in terms of how you're going to manage with the two of coins this workload. Because the two of coins is the card about management and some of you guys might also be questioning yourself about your skill set because the two of coins means if you think about the two of coins being a juggler at a circus that person is really skilled to do that so the two of coins can also mean somebody who has a skill so you might have some deep kind of fears about your skill set am i skilled enough to do this because i'm really worried about hitting deadlines that type of thing or how am i going to manage two of coins means to manage things let's have a look at the next one the Ten of Coins, though. So the Ten of Pentacles is uh, completion. Okay, so completion of the matter. Um, I do think there's a lot of fears here about how you're going to manage the situation. But I think this thing will be completed. In a, I think you're going to complete the work in a satisfactory way. I think you'll do it. I think that you'll you'll get everything done that you need to get done. Because tens mean completion. And because I read coins as matter, for example... To me, this looks like a completion of the matter because it's matter and it's completed. So it feels like on your work reading, you do have a lot to do, Libra, with the Ten of Wands. And some of you guys are really worrying about the amount of work that you've got on, the amount of heavy workload you've got here. And there's a lot of fear here showing with the moon energy, okay? Um, the Two of Pentacles energy probably fears about how you're going to manage everything, but you will complete it with the Ten of Coins. I could also read it and say that though there is a lot of worry, Nine of Swords, about your heavy workload and how you're going to reach and hit deadlines and things like that, the Moon also means to visualise, dream. So 
if you are finding yourself worrying about how you're going to hit deadlines with the amount of work you've got, Libra, I think you need to start visualising yourself as having the ability to manage and balance that workload with the Ten of Wands, okay, Ten and completing it with the Ten of Pentacles, with the Two of sorry. You need to visualise managing the work successfully and with the Ten of Coins energy, completing it. Also, the Two of Coins means... A change, a successful change, a positive change. So maybe you need to visualise there being a positive change that helps you to complete the work. So we'll do that again. I'll do it in three ways. Firstly, some of you guys, you know, either way, you're definitely worrying about a heavy workload, okay? Some of you guys may have a deep fear about whether you have the skills to manage this workload. Well, you will complete it. The other thing to say is some of you guys worrying about the heavy workload but you need to start visualising yourself being more than capable to manage this and complete it. Finally, some of you guys really worrying about the heavy workload, there is a need to visualise a positive change, the two of coins, in which you complete the workload, ten of coins, okay? Finally, let's have a look at love. Uh, judgment. Uh, I'm seeing a major decision being made uh, in terms of love. Sometimes judgment, if it comes with a six of cups or a ten of cups or a two of cups, you might be renewing a relationship. Let's have a look at the next one. The Knight of Cups energy showing here. I'm seeing a renewal, perhaps. A renewal with... I mean, I don't know. I mean, often with this particular judgment card on the on the, uh, on the the um, Everyday Enchantment Tower, it doesn't remind me of renewal. It reminds me of a call to action. So I think that some of you guys are really being called probably to express your love or somebody's being called to express their love to you. So it's almost like there's an urgency now to say something, because when there's a call to action with a judgment energy, there is now a call to do something, to take some form of action showing here. Yeah, and I think with the justice energy, though, it may be that you're kind of weighing things up with the justice energy showing there. Uh, the, uh, you may be weighing up sending a message, or somebody is weighing up sending a message to you with that Eight of Wands. Uh, let's uh, Right, so the tower showing here. Um, so weighing up with the justice card, sending a message with the eight of wands energy. You may be weighing up whether sending a message is going to cause problems or chaos. Okay, so I think it's either you or Libra, it's going to be somebody else. It's either you or somebody else. And Libra, that is your card, justice. So you may be the one that is weighing up whether you send a message. If you send a message, whether it's going to cause problems or chaos or some form of, you know, problem with the tower energy showing there. But I think that uh, even though, we'll start from here where it makes sense, I think for love, even though you might be weighing up whether sending a message is going to cause problems, the universe is saying that you are being called now to tell the truth. You're being called to express your love and to open up to somebody in love, okay? So let's quickly do this reading again before we go. General uh, uh, Libra, I think... Um, some of you guys have been really kind of focusing in, I mean, really obsessing, I would say, with that hermit about a worrying situation, the Nine of Swords. And that is to do with probably financial problems for Five of Coins and how you're going to get some support with that, with the Six of Pentacles. But the universe is saying, if you want to release that, I think, with the uh, Eight of Wands energy, if you want to release these worries, it's now time to come, move beyond your safety zone of the Two of Wands and to ask for some form of help from this King of Swords. Now, whether that King of Swords be a family member that can help you financially or um, a friend or a lover or this could be somebody who's got a lot of information and advisor would be the King of Swords. It's time now to come beyond your safety zone and also to let go of your pride because some of you guys are very proud, I think. So it's time to let go of your pride and ask for some form of help, okay? In terms of work, uh, some of you guys have been really worrying about the amount of work that you've got on and whether you're going to successfully complete it. And you've been really anxious about whether you have the skills to manage the work, but the work will be completed. Uh, also, some of you guys have been really worried about this heavy workload and you've been, um, uh, you've been, uh, you, sorry, some of you guys have been really worried about the workload. You need to visualize yourself as having the skills to manage the workload you will complete it. Finally, really worried about the workload. You need to visualise that there's going to be a positive change with the two of coins in which you complete the workload with the ten of pentacles. Finally, for love, uh, I think that the universe is trying to call you to take some action. 
there's a call to action this week for you, Libra, in which you must express your love. You must tell somebody how you feel. Uh, even though I think that some of you guys are weighing up whether sending this message is going to cause problems or chaos, maybe this is somebody that you already know, it is time, I think, to kind of take action here. You're being called to take some action and really show how you feel, to, even if it doesn't work out for the best. I think whatever is going on there, Libra, it's really kind of crushing you from the inside, and I think the universe is telling you to release, because the judgment energy mean, also means to bring something up to release. You are being, even though you may be saying, shit, I don't know whether I want to send this message to this person, whether it's going to cause problems, whether it's reckless, whether it's going to cause chaos, I think the universe is saying to you, in order to resolve the matter, because there's something here that needs to be resolved, it's time to probably release, open up about your feelings, okay? You've been burying it, and judgment also means to bury something for a long time. So it's, neat. it's time to bring those bodies up, I'm afraid. It's time to release those feelings now, because I think it's really kind of beginning to harm you from the inside. It's better out than in, even if it doesn't work in your favour. Finally, the spiritual advice for the week is to believe. Uh, and it says... There's magic all around you. Open up to the wonders of the universe. Notice the connections and synchronicities. Follow your feelings and believe with all your heart. We successfully manifest our dreams when our feelings are in alignment with our plans. From that sacred union, the right ideas take shape. The best relationships blossom. And the stuff that's meant to be easily falls into place. Everything is possible. Amazing absolutely amazing i think i might call that the might name that the um the the video title this week everything is possible amazing all right that's your reading libra i'd like to say and i think it does say it i think everything is possible here everything is it's just a matter of taking action which i think is some what some of you guys need to do all right that is your reading i'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe if you'd like your own private reading just click on the link in the comment section or the end screen take care guys Bye bye